to your weight gym eight week workout. So today is all upper body, okay? So it's our hit workout style again. So we are working for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, so we've got a nice break. But to keep it nice and simple, we are doing each exercise three times around before we move on to the next one. So it means it's nice and simple, you don't have to worry about what's coming next until you've done all three. So to start with, we've got our bent over row with the weight gym. So, we're going to be hinging from the hips, sticking our bum back, take hold of your weight gym, stay in this nice position, you're going to breathe in here and exhale row through here, up towards your belly button, exhale, engage the core of the pelvic floor, breathe in as your arms go long, but don't let the upper body sack, we've got to keep the shoulder blades nice and back to keep it strong. Now you can make this as heavy or as light as you want, depending on how many dumbbells you've got inside it. Because we've got our plank row coming up next, I've had to take these out. But that then leads us nicely into our plank row, which is exercise number two. So nice long plank, no saggy bums please, nice and strong. You're going to breathe in here, exhale row, breathe in, exhale. We're going to do this for 30 seconds, then we've got our 30 second break, okay? So that is your plank row with the dumbbells. Exercise number three is your elevated push-up on the weight gym. So we're going to just be nice and strong. Now with this one our progressions are nice and simple. The most advanced one is through on your toes, exhale up. Now remember whether you're on your knees, which is one of the slightly less challenging ones, but it's a great way to progress. We always need to make sure that our armpits are in line with our elbow. So we don't ever need to go completely inverted. We don't ever go more than the nice right angle, okay? Then we have got the floor press. So we're gonna to need to take the weight gym and we're gonna go onto our back, okay? So from here, we are gonna get into position. So our start position is with the, the unit right over our chest. We're gonna breathe in here. Exhale, push. Breathe in. Exhale up. Again, you can make this as light or as heavy as you want, depending on how many dumbbells you've got in there, okay? So that was exercise number four. Next one is our upright row. And this one is slightly different to the bent over row, okay? So with this one, we are gonna have the weight gym nice and tall in its long position. So we wanna be in a nice neutral stance. You're gonna breathe in here, exhale, row up. Breathe in, exhale up. So we don't want to lean too far back and we don't want to lean too far forward or the other way around as we exhale. Because if we tip too far, we're not going to be keeping that work and isolating it for the upper back and the shoulders. Okay, so exhaling on the way up. Then we are still using the weight gym. We are going to be doing our bicep curl into an overhead press. Breathing in on the way down. Exhaling up, breathe in, exhale up. Again, same principle as before, try not to tip backwards or forwards so that we keep everything isolated and our back's nice and safe, okay? Next up, we are going to need to attach our resistance bands. So, this is where we get to stand up the box. So, we have first off got our lateral raises and then straight into our front raises. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in, exhale lift. Now depending on the resistance of the band will depend on how high you lift. Now I've got a slight small injury in here so my right arm doesn't want to go quite so high. So we're going to breathe in here, exhale lift. Then once we've done that one for 30 seconds, the next 30 seconds we go straight into the front raise. Breathe in, relax. Exhale up. And that is when you then get your 30 seconds rest once we've done the two of them. So we're supersetting these two. Then you get your 30 second rest and then we repeat them three times round. Then the last exercise or set of exercises that we have got is your bicep curls. We're going to do these for 30 seconds, nice and tall. Breathe in as the arms go long. Exhale as the arms come up. And then 
we go into our tricep extensions. Now, you might have to tailor <laughs> what bands you use because as we extend them up through the back of our head, it gets quite tricky to extend them. So it might be that we then have to attach a lighter resistance band or if we're feeling game, we can just use our dumbbells. But again, when we're doing these, make sure we don't tip forward and backwards, exhaling on the way up, okay? And then exhale. Brilliant. So those are our eight exercises, which we'll get going with in just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm going to be taking you through a five minute warm up just to get our bodies ready for the workout ahead. So to begin with, let's take a deep breath in. Roll the arms back, just warming up the upper body. We're going to be warming up the lower body in a second just to prepare ourselves for what's ahead and roll forwards. Good. Okay, we're going to start taking it into a slow jog now just to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing, get our body temperatures higher. That's it, good. And roll back. Perfect. We're going to start going into a star jump in a second. That's it. Okay, take it into star jumps. That's it, good. If you can't quite do a star jump, don't worry. You can just step it out. Do whatever is suitable for your fitness level. This is just your warm up, so take it easy. That's it, good. We're going to stay here for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Back to a slow jog. We're just going to warm up our hips now. So take a wide stance, a little bit wider than your hips, and just circle your hips around in an anti clockwise. That's it. And then the other way, clockwise. Good. Just creating little circles, pushing your hips back, just getting those hips nice and warm. So we're mobile, ready to do this workout. And the other way, anti-clockwise again. Good, gonna go for two more and then we're gonna swap sides for the last time. That's it, and back. Clockwise now, just little circles. Push your bum back towards the back of the room. That's it, good. Last three, two, and one, good. Okay, so we're gonna warm up the legs now, okay? So little jog. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a star jump position, okay? We're gonna reach down and come back up. So swap in size each time. Good. That's it. Last five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Take it back into a slow jog. We're gonna take it into a squat now. So pop your feet in a wide stance position, a little bit wider than your hips. We're gonna take a deep breath in, squat down, and then reach up. Breathe in and out, that's it. Good, we're gonna try and pick up the pace a little bit now. That's it, get the heart rate up, good. We're gonna go for another eight, seven, six, good. Keep going, five, four, Three, two, last one, good. Okay, we're just gonna warm up the hips a little bit more. So we're gonna do an open the gate. Okay, if you need to hold onto a wall to do this, that's absolutely fine. So you're just raising the knee up and out to the side. That's it. Good, we're gonna do another three more on this side and then swap. That's one, two, and three. Good, other side, one two, three, four, good. Go for another four after this one. Three, two, and last one, good. Back into a jog, we're gonna deep breath in, roll the arms back once more, and then we're ready to smash our workout. That's it, good. Keep going for another 10 seconds. That's it, last five, four, three, two, and one, good. That's it, good. Now take it into a slow jog. That's your warm up done, guys. Great effort, we will see you soon. Enjoy your workout.
Hi everybody, I'm Jeanette from Powered From Within and I'm here with you to do workout number three of the Weight Gym 8 Week Challenge. And workout three is our upper body hip workout for today. So we have got a bent over arm row, we have got our plank with a row with dumbbells, we have got an elevated push up, we have got our floor press, we have got our upright row, we've got our bicep curls with an overhead press, not as hard as you think, don't worry. We've then got, using our resistance bands, side raises, also known as natural raises, front raises, so that's number seven. And then number eight, we've got bicep curls again with tricep extensions, either using your resistance band or your dumbbells. I will take you through both the beginner and the advanced during the session, so just carry on going and we'll start off where you are happy. So, three rounds of each, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. And then, once you've done three rounds, we move on to exercise number two. So, make your weight gym as heavy or as light as you would like, because that is how we are going to modify this one. So, got my timer ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Exhale up, breathe in, exhale. Now remember, depending on what you have got in your weight gym, or denote how much work you're doing the difficulty level so if you are after a really good workout and want to work that back even harder than normal keep all the dumbbells in your box you'll just have to pause a little bit longer before we move on to exercise number two to get them out keep going guys because we are now done so we've got 30 seconds and then we're going to go again because remember doing three rounds of each exercise before we move on to the different one so we've got 20 seconds but remember with this one, guys, I'm gonna do a side on view this time so that we can remember what we've got to do with our upper back. So remember, when we're bending over, we're sticking our bum out. We're not overarching. We're keeping everything connected in a straight line. So we've got five seconds to go. In four, three, two, one. Breathe in, exhale, row. Breathe in, exhale. So keep those elbows in nice and tight. Breathe in, exhale. Now, if you start to feel your back Ache, down in the lumbar near your hips change the position of your hips okay because if you overarch it'll squash it if you go too far you'll start to stretch it too much so exhale go we've got nine seconds guys breathe in exhale bro keep going three two one that was round two done already see we're flying so it is important to think about where your hips are because we don't want to pull your back okay so keeping everything nice and connected, nice neutral position. We've got 17 seconds to take a little break, have a drink. You're doing great. So again, make it as heavy or as light as you want and you'll find over the course of a few weeks, you'll be able to make it as heavy as you want, okay? We are all here to start somewhere. So we've got three, two, one, let's go. Breathe in as you go along. Exhale as you row up. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe in. Keeping that neck in a nice neutral position as well, so don't stick your head up too far and crane your neck. Breathe in, exhale. Keep those elbows in nice and tight. So activate in between the shoulder blades in this position. We've got six seconds, look, we're flying. Who knew that we were almost there? Ah, oh, we're done. So that was three rounds of the bent over arm row. Next up, we've got our plank row, okay? So, we need our dumbbells for this, okay? Now, if you cannot manage a full plank, go to your knees, please, guys. We need to protect everything and make sure everything's working and connected nicely, okay? So knee version here, advanced on the toes. But you can do half and half. Just take it as you want. In two, one, exhale, row. Now, the other key thing here is we don't want to see any of that, okay? Hips need to stay nice and level. Breathe in, exhale, row. Breathe in, exhale. So keep your hips as still as you can. Try to shift as little as possible. Keeping that nice plank position. I've got seven seconds left. And if you're getting tired and your technique starts to go, please do drop down to your knees. Right then, 30 seconds rest before we get going with round two. There are going to be exercises that you find on here that are more 
naturally kind of mechanical for you. We all move in different ways. So don't worry if one thing's harder than the other, just tailor it to you and as your strength builds, hopefully you will find it easier as we get on. So just take it as you can in five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. So some of you may have also heard of this as a renegade row. As we all find working in this industry, there are lots of different names for the same thing. Breathe in. We're halfway, guys. For now, remember, we are on a plank. We need to use our core. So remember, engage the pelvic floor and then wrap, zip up your jeans to engage the TAs, the deep core muscles that act like a corset. Done. Round two. Sorted. So it's always important to keep the core nice and strong so that we don't end up with our back sagging and we don't end up hurting anything or recruiting the upper abdominals. We want to keep the nice tight ones to help with that lovely long posture through our back. So we have got 10 seconds and then we're off again. So six, get into position. If you're down on your knees for the third set, that is perfectly fine. Let's go guys. Breathe in. If you need to slow it down, by all means do. If you want to practice your technique so that you know it's spot on, don't rush this, okay? Keep the back nice and strong, no rounding in between your shoulder blades, okay? Breathe in. Right, got five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, one, done! Right, that is exercise number two. Sorted, okay, next up, we've got an elevated push-up on the unit, okay? So the positioning for this is to have your hands on the side of the unit, okay? So this is where, if you find that it's not quite comfortable and right for you, just pop your hands on either side and it becomes more of a tricep dip, okay? Right, and also modifications, always start on your knee, and if it's too easy, you can then go to toes. Now again, make sure that our wrists are in line with our armpit and that we breathe in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Exhale, we're for halfway already. Breathe in. Exhale. So this is your modification, guys. If this is still a bit of a challenge, bring your knees into a box. This is a really great start position just to get your body used to working in that way, okay? So we've got box, we've got knees, we can back, back, bit, back a bit further, and then we've got full onto toes, okay? So there are always ways that we can modify this, okay? Which is why it's perfect for every ability, all right? So we're doing great. This is exercise number three, so we're cracking on. We've got 10 seconds now, and we are gonna be going in five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, breathe in. Exhale up, breathe in, exhale. So if you were in this lovely long plank position, you have got to use your core to keep your TAs, those strong internal muscles, nice and strong, okay? We don't want saggy arches, because then we don't use everything properly. Exhale up, last one, go. Round two is done. Now, I'm sounding a little bit more panty because I'm trying to speak to you at the same as working out. So it sounds like I'm always on a, the heaviest workout ever. But again, this is one of those ones that's always a nice builder. So don't worry if you're finding it a bit challenging. You've actually, it's a little bit easier. You can tinker with the timings. So you can end up doing longer work time and a shorter rest time. Okay, so, and let's go for round three. Breathe in, exhale up. We're flying through this, guys. We're doing really well. Breathe in, exhale up. We are over halfway. We've got 10 seconds left. So remember, this is where your back's gonna want to start sagging. Keep it nice and strong, guys. Done. We are done with the chest press. No, we're not, that's a push-up. We're now onto the chest press. <laughs> so, 
For this one, we are going to be on the floor. We're going to need our entire unit with whatever weight in it that you have. And our start position is going to be here. This is more our beginner slot, where you're just starting out because you've got nice stability through your feet. And I shall show you the advance in a minute. So nice and strong, breathe in and go. Breathe in, exhale up. So keep it in line with your nipples, boys and girls. We don't want to be going too close to the face, but we also don't want to be going too close to the belly button. Exhale on the way up. The more we use our core, the harder the workout and the more work we feel we've got. Now, if you're finding that having got this a full box, that's not as challenging as you might like, let's take your feet off the floor because then you have to stabilize with just your body. Okay, so for the next round, I'm gonna do it with my nice bent knees and no wobbling through my hips, hopefully. So, where's Mr. Time gone? We've got eight seconds left. Okay, so nice and prepped, engage the core. Take a nice deep breath in and go. Breathe in, exhale. So remember to engage the pelvic floor and the TAs when you're pushing. Exhale, breathe in. Relax every on the other breather. In the breath in and engage on the way out. Okay, so keep going. We're doing grand. And again, if with added dumbbells inside the box is getting too challenging, for the third round, you can just take one out. Okay? And then it's not quite as heavy, but it's perfect then. Now, if we're here and we're finding it a little bit hard, try taking your feet to here but what i want you to be very careful of is your lower back down here we're having to work our core too hard and we can sometimes forget what we're doing so up here is a slightly added challenge and i want you to protect your back okay so what we got oh we're off <laughs> breathe in <sighs> exhale go so we're needing a little bit more of the core to stabilize those legs and the upper body so that we are using everything to its full, which means better engagement. Exhale up. Now, if you're getting to this point and you're finding that the box is getting a little bit close to your face, <laughs> be careful what you're doing. Make sure it's in line with your chest. That is round three of the chest press done. Right, we are now on to the upright row. So this is when we're gonna be using the weight gym. Stood up nice and tall, okay? So, think about your posture. We're gonna be nice and tall. And we are gonna take our breath in before we move, exhaling as we pull upwards, okay? So, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Go. Breathe in, exhale up. So stay nice and tall. Engage the core. Because the more we use our core and our abdominal muscles, our deep ones, the stronger we feel, the easier the exercise is on our arms. Now, my clients are always going, how is that possible? And as soon as I teach them how to breathe, I say, oh yeah, I can use more weight now. This is easier. First round done. So we've got 30 seconds rest. So yeah, do engage that breathing because it means that we've got more power through our body, which is always a good thing. So, gonna do another two rounds of these, all right? And we are getting there. So we are halfway with the rest. So if you're getting a bit thirsty at this point, don't forget to stay hydrated. Right then, in five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, right. Suck up peanut. Zip up your jeans to engage that core. Shoulders stay back and down. No rounding of the upper back. So that we've got that lovely, strong back, neutral position. And we then know that we're targeting all the right muscles. Breathe in. That's round number two. So again, the lovely thing with this is, if you added in the extra weights, 
you'd be doing that a little bit extra work because those are two and a half each, but obviously I used them earlier on, so I took them out. But you can always add them back in again and just pause your rest so that you know that you're working to the level that you want to work at. So tinker with it, play with it, and do whatever feels best for you. So we've got four seconds. Three, two, one, round three. So let's go. Breathe in. Excellent. Brilliant, well done. Don't give up at this stage. If your shoulders are starting to burn, it's like, no, keep going. You know you can complete this. Again, if you've got dumbbells, just happen to be hanging about on the floor there. Put down the box and pick the dumbbells up. But don't stop, you're doing great. So keep going, we've got one second and we're done. Brilliant, okay, so now we have got our hammer curl, so it's bicep curl, straight into that overhead press. So choose the weight inside your box that you feel is achievable for all three rounds, okay? Or you can start with a heavier weight and then drop them down as the sets go on, okay? So we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Exhale up and push overhead. Breathe in. Breathe in. Push straight overhead. Keep that upper body nice and still, okay? Do not lean back. Breathe in. Exhale, keep going. So again, keep that posture lovely so that we're targeting all the right muscles. Round one, done. So we don't want any of this as we're pushing up for the, through the, the shoulder press up and overhead, okay? Stay nice and tall for me so that we know that we've got the best activation and we are not gonna do ourselves any damage, okay? So, nice and stable, nice and tall. 10 seconds until we're off and ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Breathe in on the way down. <sighs> Exhale up. Breathe in. So as you can see, hopefully I'm doing it right. I'm not rounding my shoulders and I'm trying to prevent myself from tipping back as much as possible. So that we've then got that lovely posture and the correct muscle activation. Okay, but it also means we're not gonna hurt ourselves. So nice and tall here. Round three, coming up. And before you know it, we've done another exercise. And then we've just got two supersets left after this. So we've got 15 seconds left, guys, of our rest. Have a drink, have a bit of a shake out and then pick the box back up again. Whatever you want to do, just to have a little rest. And then we've got four, three, two, one. Exhale, go. Breathe in. Exhale up. Breathe in. So for the overhead press, try and push through the palm of the hand, through the heel, to get a nice, strong push. Breathe in. Use the core. This is where you're gonna to need to really use it. If it's starting to get a little bit wobbly and we're done. Good work, guys. Now, we're gonna to have to be quick for this bit if you are keeping your time again. Because we've got our lateral raises now. So, we're gonna stand on our box. Now, depending on the strength of the band will depend on how high you can lift them, okay? So don't worry, you think, oh my gosh, my arms are going very high. There's a lot of resistance in some of these bands. So, always start on your lighter band. Breathe in, come on girls. So we're gonna go straight into the front raises. Go. Breathe in, exhale lift. Now you can see, I am not going very high with the band. So, use the core. Only go as high as you can to maintain good tension and technique, okay? This is about resistance and your muscles under tension over time, okay? So engage the breathing. 
because that will help. Right, now we have our 30 second break, okay? And then we're gonna do those two exercises again, okay? So nice and relaxed for a second. So if you happen to kind of go, miss the time and go, oh, I'm having my rest early, don't worry. Just kick back in again when you can with the next exercise, okay? It's a mistake that is going to happen, but I can assure you. So it's the beauty of editing when we're doing this. So we're gonna stand nice and tall. Don't tip back, we've got three seconds, boys and girls. Two, one, exhale, lift. Use the core, breathe in, exhale. Straight into the front ones. Breathe in, exhale, lift. Don't tip back when we're doing the front raises. It's gonna be a temptation. Stay strong, stay tall. Try not to round your shoulders as I've just caught myself doing. Keep the shoulders nice and down. If your arms are starting to give out, in this lovely 30 second well-timed break, switching your different band. You've got your lighter one. I'm working with the middle one here. You've got your heavier and you've got your lighter one. So switch to the coloured one if you want to so that you can complete this in one go. Or if you're running short on time, grab your dumbbells. It's not an issue, okay? So we're doing great, guys. We've got 10 seconds rest and then we're going straight into round three of this and then we're done with these guys. We're doing brilliantly to keep going. I'm very proud of you. Right, three, two, one. Breathe in, exhale up. Straight into the front. Breathe in. Now, if like me, you are wearing a smartwatch and you're all about getting those exercise minutes in, don't forget to start it, <laughs> as I just have. We've got five seconds just over. Keep going, guys. And then we've got 30 seconds rest. And we're done. Okay, next up, we've got our bicep curls. So, have a rest. Give the arms a shake out. Yep, so I'm unfortunately haven't closed any more exercise rings because apparently I'm not working out, which is very unfair because I've forgotten to start my watch. So, we are nice and tall. We're gonna do bicep curls straight into a tricep extension, but with the middle band and the heavier band, it's gonna be a drip tricky. So you might wanna just quickly grab your dumbbells, okay? So we're gonna breathe in here. <sighs> exhale. Breathe in. <sighs> exhale. So what you can do is have your lighter resistance band already attached, and then you can do a quick switch over with the handles, okay? <sighs> exhale, nice and tall. Engage the core. Oh. Right then, straight into a tricep extensions. Hands over back and then up. Now I can't lift this very far. Breathe in. <sighs> because these guys are really tight and really strong. <sighs> oh. Right, well done. So these are quite strong, these resistance bands. So. Second time round, I'm gonna do my tricep extensions with my dumbbell, and I'm gonna stick with the resistance band for bicep curl. So play it however you want, choose whatever's right for you, okay? And I might find that if I carry on doing my tricep extension with the weight gym, I'll have a nice, strong, unflabby backs and my arms flying through the heaviest of bands before you know it. So, let's go, round two. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in. Keep the shoulders back and down. No rounding through that chest. Breathe in. Engage the core. Use the pelvic floor. Exhale. I'm gonna do a quick changeover. Okay, breathe in, exhale up. If you don't want to be switching your gear each exercise, then just stick with these guys. But again, we don't want any swaying. So exhale on the way up, breathe in. So keep it nice and controlled, okay? Breathe in, <sighs> exhale. So this is round two, we've got our 30 second break. We've got one more set left guys and we're all there. So if you feel, if you're gonna be using your dumbbells, I'm gonna show you the dumbbells for round three. You can always come off the box, make yourself feel nice and stable. And then we'll be doing the last set of your hip workout. And then you'll be done. So nice and tall, let's get ready. Let's regulate the breathing. 
Have a drink if you want. In three, two, one. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. So this is the beauty of whatever we've got in our box. You can play with it till your heart is content. Again, if you're somebody who's slightly more advanced, what you can do is up the time of the exercise and reduce your rest time, okay? Breathe in. Hey, okay, right then, straight into extension. So the upper body stays perfectly still. Something about this still is something. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. We are done. Right, you guys have been awesome. You've now completed workout number three, your upper body blast with the eight week weight gym challenge. You did amazing. We just need to cool our bodies down now, okay? So we're gonna go for a couple of stretches just to try and bring that heart rate back down. Okay, so what I want you to do is just take a lunge position. So you're gonna put one leg back, one leg forward. Lunge into your front leg, raise your back heel off the floor. And we're just gonna hold it there. Good, okay, you're gonna swap sides. Try and keep your body upright rather than leaning forward. Just pretend you've got a bit of glass behind you and in front of you. You're just gonna hold it there. Try and really push the back heel down towards the floor. You should feel a stretch down the back of your leg. That's it, good. Okay, we're gonna take it into a hamstring stretch. So what you wanna do is put one leg forwards. You're gonna sit back into it. So push your hips backwards, slight bend in the other leg. Lean on your bent leg and just tuck your head in towards your chin. If you want a deeper stretch, raise your toes off the floor and just hold it there for another five seconds before we swap sides. Three, two, and one, good. Other leg comes straight, the other side, bend your knee, push your hips back, lean onto your bent leg and just hold it there. If it's too much of your toes are off the floor, and just drop the toes and hold it there. Good, well done. We've got one more leg stretch and then we're going to take it into upper body. So if you need to hold it onto a wall or focus onto a spot in front of you, tap your balance. What you're going to do is pull your leg behind you. Try and connect your knees and push your hips forwards. This stretches out your quadriceps, the front of your legs. That's it. I always find if I focus on the spot in front of me, it helps keep my balance, but sometimes I'm a little bit wobbly. Woo, there you go. <laughs> Seems as I said wobbly. But if you need to hold onto a wall, that's absolutely fine. Good, and then swap sides. That's it, gonna hold it here for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one good so that's your lower body stretches done just going to move on to upper body and that is your cool down done okay so start just pulling your arms back creating anti-clockwise circles that's it good and forwards perfect let's go for five more four three two and one, good. Just gonna stretch out the triceps to the back of your arms. If you pop one hand over, resting onto your shoulder blades. Other arm comes and holds onto your elbow. Pull your arms back. Feel a nice stretch down this part of your arm. That's it, good. Three, two, and one. Swap sides. Good, okay, just gonna stretch out the chest now. So link your hands behind your back. Try and pull your shoulder blades together for a nice stretch in the side of your chest. That's it, hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, link your hands in front of you. Drop your head in towards your chin and try and pull your hands apart so you feel a stretch across the top of your shoulders. Good, give them a shake out. Deep breath in, raise up towards the sky, deep breath out and hold it down at the bottom. Tuck your head in, just gonna hold it there for 10 seconds for a nice stretch down 
the backs of your legs. Oh, how good does it feel to get that workout done? You absolutely smashed that. Good. Bring your body up slowly. Give yourself a big round of applause and we will see you in your next workout.